Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tactics Ogre, the Knight of Lotus. Last time we visited Sotavento and were interrupted by Nikart. This time we head to Haina, and this map is very different based on whether you're on Path A or Path B. So, I'm going to be showing both battles, because they require completely different tactics. First, Path A with Shivan in tow. Come on to Haina. I'll give you credit for making it this far, but I can't let you go any further. Just hand over the sacred spear. I came here to unveil a conspiracy involving Richter Lasante and the Duke of Felis. Are you aware that, after obtaining the sacred spear, he and the Lord of Vernaculus plan to rebel against the Lotus? Nonsense. Even if it was an order from his father, he wouldn't allow that to happen. He is loyal to the Holy Lotus Empire. That's why I want to speak to him one last time. I want to know if he intends to present the spear to the church or, to, or use it for a different purpose. I don't want to fight with you. Please stand aside. I can't do that. Retreat if you want to, and I won't try to stop you. But, have you forgotten that I serve only Commander Lasanti? And we are at an impasse. Now this map I do strongly recommend that you take a look at before you actually start sten sending your troops out. You'll notice that there are significant terrain differences. However, for characters like Alphonse and Eleanor, that doesn't matter as much and they can handle themselves. Uh, for other characters, it does become a, a uh, potential issue, a potential sticking point, so you've got to be careful where people are going. Um, for this map, magic users are not nearly as valuable as they have been, however, they are still very much necessary, and thankfully I have two very good magic users here. And I think that this is going to be good enough, so let's go with, on with the battle. It's an honor to fight with you, but I won't lose. And this really does help set up a turning point. Um, however, there are four random treasures on this map. And just to show them off right quick, we have one that is literally really close by, right there. Um, actually, I think I'll go ahead and have uh, Ramus get... never mind. Uh, Ivana has embodiment, so that will be safe. Just to show this off real quick. A whip, okay. I really don't need any more of those. Uh, got another random treasure here, on this step. Uh, we have a random treasure next to the dragon up here. Actually, now I'm curious about this dragon. And eh, nothing, nothing special. And then we have another random treasure behind this tree stump. Now, I'd like to go over the foes right quick. The two archers aren't too terribly bad. They have low defense and they don't hit very hard. Orson, on the other hand... With that Thunderbow, he is a pain in the butt. He is quite difficult, actually. Um, the ninjas, believe one of them had... Oh, he's he's completely unimportant. Uh, yes, the Yomogi. I'm not exactly 100% sure how to pronounce that, but whatever. He does drop that, so you don't have to worry about recruiting him. And me, personally, I'm not going to bother recruiting him. One of these sword masters, him right there, teleport. He drops that, you don't need to worry about recruiting him. But it is a good spell to pick up. As for him, completely unimpressive, actually. So, that's what they have. And just to show off the archers right quick, great bow. Now this guy actually drops those forest boots, and I like, if you can't tell, I actually like sets in this game. That 
flame leather. I actually can't remember. Let me check my notes right quick, because I think I wrote down what he drops. Um, ah, yes, he drops that flame leather, so you're going to be getting that, which is a, a nice piece of equipment. It gives you some decent uh, defense, so there's that. Start moving everybody up this hill. Actually, it's going to be better for her next turn if she's there. Now, with the archers with the terrain advantage, this is going to be a bit of a hassle, but with the distance that Alphonse and Eleanor can traverse, it's not that big of a deal. And because Eufair and Elric are going to have plenty of time to gather MP, I'm not going to bother with energy trance with, uh... I forgot the name of that spell already, didn't I? Fluid magic. I would get to it eventually. Uh, and I am actually going to show off Gnome since I haven't done that yet. Because I forgot. I don't know why. Uh, start using him as a bit of a decoy. Now, Path B's version of this map. Oh my goodness, it is significantly harder. And we'll see next ep well, maybe not next episode. It depends on how long this one takes. And that went rather well. This uh, Swordmaster got himself into quite a bit of trouble by trying to attack Alphonse. I'm actually going to see if I can let Eleanor get that kill. Because Blood Rain is actually an emblem that I rather appreciate. Negative one to a mentality gauge of any nearby characters? It's worth it. And I don't want Eleanor to be a healing class anyway, so that doesn't much matter. And there we go with her level up. Uh, he can't get that quite... He can go after this archer, though, because he's already starting to attack my lower defense characters, and that needs to stop. Uh, they're fine for now. That puts him probably too close to the action. That's fair. And with these next two fights, you're definitely going to start to see the major differences in that first fatal choice that you made with Sybil in the uh, warehouse or barn or wherever it was that they were making their plans. In between rounds, I kind of changed up equipment a little bit because I noticed that Elric was a little too slow. He his movement range was not very good at all. And this should be the end of my turn. Yep. Okay. I may be a little more spread out than I like to be. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. But I think I'm fine overall. Despite the fact that Shivan is taking quite a bit of a beating here. Quite a beating. Um, no, Elric can take the damage better. But he hit 
it's the priest that way. Oh well, the priest can get in on the healing. Thirty-three is not bad, and that won't kill him. So, I forgot that that's all she has equipped. Um. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, that should be fine. going to retreat for health reasons anyway. this and use ice field at the same time because I want to test to see if I'm close to how many kills I have. Pen and a sword, that means that I have at least 10 kills. Embodiment of the Desires, good. She's going to be quite useful there. And Ramus. Probably not going to be able to take him out. Who presents the biggest danger here? Oh, I'm willing to test this. Might not work, but if it does, then that's one less. Oh, low chance to hit. I'm still going to try it. Watch it hit somebody else completely, though. Nope, hit him. And good. That is one less guy to worry about. I was going to try to save the uh, magic casters for that dragon, but it's uh, not cooperating, so... It gets to be attacked by Eleanor and Alphonse over here. And Alphonse, with his uh, Fafnir sword, has a chance to insta-kill it. So, kind of foolish, honestly. And of course, insta-kill didn't work, but whatever. And they are really, really hammering on... Uh... Rat, still not enough MP. Because... You'll notice one thing about summon spells. They require a lot of MP, 35 MP specifically. So, what do I want to do here? They're pretty much exclusively going after Shiv in there, but with my resurrection spell I should be fine. Seven damage. I can probably do more physically. Let's 
63. Goodness gracious, he is getting... He is getting his butt handed to him. Again, I'm the one who decided on this course of action, no matter how foolish it ended up being. Normally they tend to... all their physical attackers towards Alphonse, but this time they decided to be a little different. Um, he is in a good spot not to be hit. Now Ramus, I'm pretty sure, can take a beating, so... And now, sensing the absolute danger that she is, they're going after you fair. Because she took a ton of damage that turn. Uh, 73. I think I can take you out with Shivan and Ramus, so I don't have to waste, uh, I say waste MP. Yep, Shivan, go ahead and take that guy out. And... Alaric doesn't have the MP yet. Oh well, use him to soften up these guys over here a little bit. I might even have Ramus soften up another one of them so that I can uh, use G uh, Gnome, really? Gnome improperly. Yeah, this should also give him a level up. Let's see. 106. Yeah, go after you. Oh, kind of the uh, interesting thing is with uh, you, Fair. <laughs> um, yes, I have an interesting story with her. With a particular item that I had equipped to her, I was just. Um, just having a little bit of fun bringing her into a level by with uh, by herself pretty much with um, with a healer and uh, she countered somebody and killed them in one hit so she got a negative intelligence emblem the one that I don't mind having on Alphonse the one that I don't want on magic casters like you fair I just randomly just testing something and she goes and gets the worst emblem a spellcaster can get that doesn't leave much now since I don't care about um, Eleanor being able to be a dragon tamer I'm gonna go ahead and kill the dragon with her, because I'm trying to get her the Blood Rain emblem. And there we go with that Earth-based sword. Yeah, bit of overkill. Oh, wow. Finally get to show fall damage, and it's absolutely useless. Uh, there's no more enemies on the map, so I may as well start going after Orson. Although, Orson versus Alphonse. Yeah, that's not going to be fair. So I'm pretty sure uh, Alphonse can uh, almost one-shot him. Actually, I haven't shown off Swallow's gaze yet, have I? However, the thing with Swallow's Gaze, and I believe I'll be able to show it here, yeah, it's grayed out. It requires a katana to use. 
So, uh, I don't actually have Alphonse able to use Swallow's Gaze all that often. I can't reach Alphonse, okay. Right, there's some things to pick up. Uh, right next to her. That works. A fan. I don't use those too terribly often, so, eh, whatever. And Eleanor, go ahead and get this one. Right, grass. I forget to burn things. I'll get that after the battle, then. The last one is right here, and I don't care about upgrading it, so whatever. Embodiments of De Embodiment of Desire is only for Halt Hammer. Maybe I should have worried about upgrading it. Oh well. Now we're about to see just how much damage Alphonse kid... Oh wow, that's cruel. Go ahead. I'm not sure, so worried about those uh, war trophies because even though I'm having Remus land on one of them, they'll be automatically picked up at the end of uh, combat anyway. The four shoes, which. Oh, right, she moved already. And it's a good thing I got to show off Gnome. Because <laughs> it is nice to actually show off um, what the various summons actually do. Especially since it's before we get our next one. Because let's see, we have all the natural elements except for... Um... What is it called? Uh, wind. We don't have wind yet. And there is no Bane Elemental Summon, but there is a Virtue Element Summon. So, just keep that in mind. Also, one interesting thing, Shuriken Barrage uh, counts towards the <laughs> magic end of the Pen and the Sword Emblem. So you can actually earn your Pen and the Sword Emblem by killing... Uh, I believe it's... Yeah, five people with Shuriken Barrage, which is almost impossible. And five people with uh, a standard sword attack. And goodbye, Orson. I knew you well. Alphonse, I'd expect nothing less from you. Your skill on the battlefield and leadership ability, it's easy to see why the commander respected you. You're a man of high caliber. That's hardly true. Your archery skills are as impressive as ever. If we had fought one-on-one, -on -one, I would have lost. Maybe so, but that's just a possibility. You won. Go and witness these events with your own eyes, and don't ever look back at those you've defeated. Goodbye. I've always felt farewell fit better there, but... Goodbye, Orson. Cup, Thunderbow from Orson, Flame Leather. Will you go after him right away? Yes, I intend to. But, Sybil, is there something bothering you? I've been thinking. Alphonse, I want you to continue without me. Why now, all of a sudden, we're, when we're so close to our destination? Listen, if Richter knows about the spear, then why would he think that it's in our possession? It doesn't make sense. Besides, I don't think he's merely acting as his father ordered. He must have another reason. 
I want to know what he's really thinking, and I bet we'll be able to find out where the spear is, too. Of course, I have no intention of abandoning my mission. I leave it in your hands. Understand? I've been wondering. I know you're loyal to the Church of Lotus, but that's not your only reason for being here, is it? You know this island so well. Are you from here? I'm not trying to hide anything. You're right. I lost my hometown during the Reformation. I was driven from my home, and my parents were burned to death right before my eyes. I lost everything but my life. <laughs> Don't take it the wrong way. I haven't felt nostalgic for a long time. But there is uh, one matter I want to look into while I'm on this island. If there's something on your mind, then by all means go. But Sybil, be careful. Don't worry. I won't be gone long. And that is set up for a bit of plot in the near future. I, <laughs> it's some very good plot, actually. And here you have Osterio and Gracula unlocked. Uh, Gracula is a place that you want to avoid for now because of secret characters. You have gotten Glycinia in any of the battles up till now. Glycinia's battle has actually moved now that uh, we've defeated Hyna. Um, I won't reveal where that is just yet, but regardless, this is Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.